our project is Optic Weekend Win Edition, named after our favorite show, Java. Bop It is supposed to be like our own version of the Bop It, you know, it's your game with a big button and it screams at you what to do. But instead, we have LEDs screaming at you what to do. I programmed the hand shaking and the leg shaking micro bit. So when Xavier sent his code, we asked. That was the best part when everything just came together and finally worked. Um, so the hardest part of the project, I'm. I mean, I feel like we all collectively have the same idea, but I guess coordination, because we all had different, like we discussed at the beginning what our project was going to be, but I think we all interpreted what that was in a different way. What we're doing is we're doing the game of network, but we're taking it to another level. So instead of the rudimentary bar just lower, becoming lower and lower as the person gets, I think it's solar to the bar. and. The cursor must go beneath the bar, and the server will record how low you went. Our role in the project is to actually build the whole circuitry and uh, set up the sensor to actually read values and send it to the other micro bits. The most challenging part of the project is ensuring that the, the code written across all the different files was um, compatible, compatible with each other and you know, received by each other one properly. Um, I think the most challenging part of the project for me was definitely getting the different components across the entire game to work with each other. The title of our project was Sheep Herding. Our project was a bunch of bit bots that acted as sheep and moved away from the staff as you put it in front of them into a pen where they would stay. Uh, so I also helped with the ultrasonic sensing and uh, the radio signals between the robots and the start and stop commands with the robot. And we worked on how it would react to what these sensors were picking up and how it would act just in general and did the kind of testing in that field. I personally enjoyed a lot of the learning how different components interacted with each other and working in a team <coughs> and each person in the team working on something different and then seeing it all come together in the end. Um, well, I found it most difficult to keep up with the code. <laughs> Um, and the sensors just didn't work, so they were the most um, difficult thing. Our project is a bit more race where the speed of the car is controlled by the flailing of someone's arms. And my role in the project was to make the bit bot car move. Uh, I was responsible for the outside. Uh, I handled the control to the micro bits strap to the person's arms. Uh, my favorite part is probably actually seeing the car move by making your arms fly around. That's pretty fun. My favorite part was how you could compete against other people and you both look very ridiculous while doing it. I guess my favorite part is just um, shaking and holding and like watching the car move. Uh, the most difficult part of the project for me was um, making, the, making the announcer actually synchronize with, with the full controls that we have. Yo, what are you guys doing? Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. <laughs>